So guys, today we are going from this to this. So uh, I've been having some problems trying to get the suspension to be as good as it can. Since I have the DDC, it will not allow me to adjust the front with both rebound and compression. So I have only one value from, from uh, the dash that I could choose from. And uh, it's not doing me well. So uh, there's a solution for this. Um, as you know, and it's a 2D sensor potentiometer for the front suspension. And when you install that, hopefully I will get both compression and rebound in the front, exactly like it is set in the rear. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to install the 2D sensor. So this is what you guys need. I bought mine from Alpha Racing. It's a 2D sensor. It's 150 millimeters stroke. And these are the fasteners that will go in there. And to attach this to your bike, you will need a bracket. And this bracket's got a hollow screw for the uh, bottom triple clamp. I will show you exactly what to do with it. So the serial number for this, if you have a K67, is what you see. And the 2D sensor that I'm using, the serial number for that is that. So it's a pretty straightforward installation. And what you need to do is on the left hand side of your bike, you will need to remove the wheel sensor here, install the bracket, and then on the triple clamps here, you will have to remove the top screw here, replace it with the screw in the bracket, and then attach the 2D sensor. So it will go from the top screw here, all the way down to the uh, wheel sensor. Uh, there is a but here, and that is you will need to have some steering stops or whatever you guys call it. I made mine here so that in case of a crash, you won't damage the sensor, otherwise, you will break it. Um, so that's what you need. Alpha Racing is selling steering stops that you can mount on top of your cooler here. And they are pretty expensive. Uh, I think it was about 250 euros. Don't quote me on that. So I went with my own solution on top here. Hopefully that will help. So let's start the installation. So anyways, this part is pretty simple. It's, you just need to remove the screw for the wheel sensor and then put the screw that came with the bracket inside. And this bracket will just fit on top of the wheel sensor so you don't have to remove the wheel sensor entirely just remove the screw and this is how you install it and then attach this ball point so you can attach the potentiometer so together with the bracket you'll have this screw which is hollow on the inside and you have the possibility to screw in one of these ball heads 
the rear side for the attachment point. Um, so you have two adjustments here. I just put it in, in the top one. And you, this is just normal, just screwing this, this guy in here. And the lower triple clamp, so you know where we are in the bike. I have changed these screws, so yours probably won't look like this. They have a hex head. So I need to figure out how to safety wire this one. Probably going to go in between here and safety wire it. I don't want to drill a hole in this because this is special. So remove the top one here and insert the new screw in there and the torque specifications for this is uh, 10 newton meters and you just tighten these once because they're pinch screws you can tighten them too hard so once 10 newton meter on each since i haven't removed the bottom one i'm not gonna bother and uh, this is Torx 35. So I will pull this with the correct Torx, which is 10 Nm, and get back to you. So here we are. The screw that came with the bracket from Alpha Racing is uh, tightened to this specification for the Torx, which is 10 Nm. And on the back side, there's this hollow part where you will have to insert this guy. So I'll just apply some uh, Loctite on it and attach it and get back to you. So the attachment point for the top is done. Well, this is how it looks like. And at the bottom it is what we get. So the next step is to attach the sensor. And You'll have these holes on each end and the sensor will go with the red part towards the top. So you just attach them there. I think we have to open up this guy on the top. I'll do that and get back to you. So just put your nail underneath it, underneath the lip and just open it up. This will allow this hole to expand and then you can insert it into the ball attachment. So, and then you need to, of course, close, uh, close the lip. And as usual, it's impossible to do that with one hand, but maybe it worked. So it snapped in. And then you need to close the lip on top so it's closed and then we will repeat the same procedure down here push it in until you hear the snap and then close the lip so the sensor is installed you have a connection here this will go where your charcoal filter was i have removed mine and then you'll have a connection here with the blue white red blue and blue white and red so three cables remove the uh, protection for that and then insert this Make sure you route this cable correctly. I'll have to figure out where to route it. So this is the final product. So let's go over and have a look to see if we can adjust the rebound and compression in the front. Just before I show you the dash, some uh, routing here, I went with a zip tie cable to the fork and then over here I'm probably gonna put another one here or cut this one up and insert this 
in the middle and then the whole thing is zip tied here there's an important part here that's why you need to have stoppers try to steer your bike all the way to the left and make sure that you clear the space between the sensor and your cooler uh, so you don't damage it otherwise you will have a problem so make sure that there's plenty of space here for the sensor otherwise you'll just spend your money without getting the benefits and this is working for me let's go and have a look at the dash so here we are race track configurations and then we go one step down configurations and then all of a sudden we have in the front both rebound and compression let's have a look at that so if we keep stepping down uh, to the DDC you will have now two values for the front and two values for the rear and if we choose the front you have compression and front rebound so uh, you can adjust the damping to your liking if you're riding on the street maybe this is not as big as a problem but on the track you probably want to change your rebound and compression in the front to your likings so guys pretty easy and forward installation uh, the hard part was to figure out which bracket and which sensor i needed for this bike if you have an oem loom which i have um, so uh, i'll provide you earlier in this video with the correct part numbers uh, let's see what this will do this weekend I'll hit the track uh, and see if it helps or not please don't forget to subscribe and like so I can make some more videos for you guys and don't hesitate to comment I'll try to answer all your comments take care ride safe see you soon